While the debate over whether 13-0 Boise State should have been given a shot at the BCS national title has died down, the memories of one of the best Fiesta Bowls ever lives on. But it's not the Cinderella Broncos overtime win over Oklahoma that's most memorable. Trick plays notwithstanding. It's the star player's marriage proposal to the head cheerleader that will always be part of BCS Bowl lore. So how does a team top that finish? Our Hummer Press Pass takes us inside Boise State. It was a historic season. Boise State in 06 going 13-0, finishing as the only undefeated team in the Division I Bowl subdivision. Boise State reaching a BCS Bowl game. After beating Oklahoma, the Broncos finished fifth in the final AP poll, the highest ranking in school history. The Broncos lose 13 starters from last season, but still have junior All-American running back Ian Johnson, who led the nation with 25 TDs in 2006. And uh, Chris Peterson, one Paul Bear Bryant Coach of the Year award in 06, enters his second season as head coach, having yet to taste defeat. Here we go, boys. Here we go. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, Sid. Pino, what you got? You going you looking to dominate or just get by? That's all that's all Coach Peach wants is effort. Just give me effort, we got a chance. A big one. We've kind of been scratching and clawing the last five, seven years, whatever it's been, to to get people to notice us and say, hey, you know, look, look how, look how many games we're winning, and I think when you go on a national stage like we were in the Fiesta Bowl, it gives you some legitimacy and some credibility that hey, you are playing good football. One of the things we've done is we've kind of dismissed the old all our Fiesta Bowl gear from our everyday wear, just because it's one of those things where we don't want to get caught up in what we did last year. That way, boss. That way, boss. Quickness, boss. There you go. Find it, Julian. Find it, Julian. There you go. The big thing for our uh, spring ball is getting young guys, getting the guys that haven't played yet in an actual situation that they haven't been before. They're not on the scout team. There you go. There you go. Put them with the one offense and see how they work. See what we have. And get these guys back up to speed with the rest of us. Come on, Nick. You got to be mentally strong, Nick. Let's go. Make some plays. Get there. Oh. Turnover! There we go! Throughout practice, Coach likes to keep the competitive environment up, so we will wager uh, us having to run after practice. Don't leave early! Don't let him leave early! Go! He added in go. what we call Bronco Fun, which is a way to win back some of you're not having to run. Let's if we go. can combine competing at whatever, relay races, uh, three-legged races, uh, whatever. We just want to be great competitors. <laughs> Again, Chris Peterson yet to taste defeat as a head coach, leading his team to that improbable 13-0 mark in 06. The 13 wins for Peterson, the, the most by a coach in his first season at the Division I Bowl subdivision level. Kirk Herbstreet has a Boise breakdown. Well, when you bring up Boise State, everybody wants to talk about the trick plays from last year's Fiesta Bowl against Oklahoma. But if you really study Boise State, you understand that this is a program that prides itself on being a hard-working team, a kind of a lunch pail team, a team that outworks their opponent. And that's why I think Chris Peterson is so excited about this team coming up. Sure, they lost Jared Zabransky, their quarterback, their top three wide receivers. But because of the work ethic and because of the attitude to expect to be better than whoever they play because of their work ethic, I expect Boise State to be WAC champions. Now on ESPN.com for more on Boise State football and how they will fare without QB and Fiesta Bowl star Jared Zabransky, check our video breakdown.